Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a plan with me in my Erin Condren Flower Power Vertical for the week of August 3rd through the 9th. I am using this retro mini kit from Sarah Elizabeth Prince. This kit is just so pretty. I absolutely love it. It kind of reminds me of like the 90s, 80s, 90s style. It's things that I remember doing kind of, kind of. Like, I don't remember really boom boxes, um, but I do remember, like, we didn't do those kind of skates unless we went to a roller rink, but we did do, like, the inland skating type skates. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, so it just reminded me of, like, my childhood almost a little bit. Um, so the colors are beautiful, beautiful. Like, Sarah Elizabeth Prince, Juanita, the owner of the shop, she was on top of summer kit colors this year. I swear, like, each one of her summer kits that she did were my favorites. Like, they all were my favorites. I couldn't choose just one. So, yeah. Anyways, um, so I do have PR information down below, but she will be in the TPC sale starting July... Oh my gosh, I'm trying to go backwards now. August 6th through the 10th, um, which is this week that I'm planning. She will be doing 50% off, um... And the code will be released in the, sh the code will be released, like, I'll put it on my Instagram, she'll put it on her Instagram, the TPC. If you're in the TPC Facebook group, you get it an hour earlier. So, if you're worried about freebies and all that stuff, I would definitely, um, so, like, if the shops have sampler packs, I would definitely be in that, sh in that Facebook group, because that's where you'll get the, um, the shop coupon, because they all use one coupon first um so funny thing is is I haven't been like I've, I've been trying to stay away from Facebook a lot lately and I have noticed besides the fact that they're deleting people's Facebook posts which is really starting to tick me off because I, I thought we had free speech and I thought that we were allowed to have free speech on social media whether Facebook thinks that it's inappropriate or misinformation I think really hate that they are deleting people's stuff so that is really ticking me off and then that's number one number two why are they deleting people's stuff you guys think about that okay because at first I was like what okay maybe these people you know what people are saying is not right like I don't know how to explain it but I I, I'm, I could go on a whole tangent on this but even if you don't believe what the people are saying that person who's posting it has a right to speak to give out that information and have other people's re other people research it so that's all i'm gonna say um don't know what i'm talking about you're always welcome to dm me and i can tell you but um i'm sure like you this week there was something um there was something that was posted by multiple of my friends and all of their things got deleted so that is just not cool to me so i heard twitter is like the only one that is not doing this type of stuff so Twitter might be better for information. I am not on Twitter. Um, I've never really felt the need to do Twitter because I just, I don't come up with thoughtful things like <laughs> things that you would say on Twitter. I don't know. I hardly post on Facebook. I'm actually only on Facebook first to see families' photos of like their kids, but no one else is doing that either. And I don't really do it anymore because, um, I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable putting my kids' stuff out there anymore. It's, I, it's just become kind of weird. And then, um... So I don't really post. So the other re main reason now that I'm on Facebook is for PRing so that I'm in like TPC groups and, you know, um, various planner groups. Um, but that is the only reason I'm on there. So half the time I'm like, I'm just going to delete everyone. I just don't want them to think that I don't like them because that's not what it is. It's just the fact that I like don't feel like I need... I need the friends on there. I just feel like I use it specifically for my planner groups, if that makes any sense. So basically all that is to say is that, um, last month I had noticed that my algorithm for the TPC group was so messed up because I had not participated in that group for probably a couple months. Like normally I enter all the giveaways or as much as I can, if I remember, and I did not do that. I'm pretty sure July or August I did not enter any giveaways. I just kind of wanted to get away from Facebook, basically. And 
through that I noticed that I have not been able to see July or August sale I don't get to see that code I have to search for it and I still have trouble finding it um so I'll search like you know sale code or I'll even search Caitlin's name because I think she's the one that usually post it and normally I'll have to find another post of someone else saying what's the code so I'm not the only one losing it so I don't know if that's something they need to start putting in the announcements or what but yeah anyways that was my whole like tangent on Facebook <laughs> I'm really sorry about that um I actually have like a personal Instagram so Instagram in general is also another thing that I've been feeling kind of like blah about like Playing with Kristen, I swear you guys, if you are not following her, she's Kristen I Inez on YouTube. I hope I say that right. But planning with Kristen on Instagram, she is such a great, like, empowering woman. So she does like motivational Monday. She's been she started doing that. She has a podcast. I don't listen to her podcast. I'm not a big podcast person. Um I do YouTube a lot, so, like, I watch a lot of YouTube, so usually I only listen to podcasts when I get a chance. Um, I may start listening to podcasts, like, on my way to work, but that's only gonna be probably for a couple weeks when I'm by myself. Helena's gonna start going with me when she goes back to school, so anyways, she was talking about how there are people on Instagram and in the planner community who have really stepped back because they feel like, it's not fun anymore. And that's really how I was feeling for several months now, even before anything happened, even with COVID. Um, even at the end, I mean, I think I felt like that through even my depression of last year. Like it just felt like it wasn't becoming fun anymore. And then as this year really came in, I was enjoying it, but I also was like, it was getting amped up. Like while I was at work, it was not a big deal because I'm never on it at work. But I feel like I'm coming back as now that I'm home more. So maybe it's more of a me thing. It just isn't feeling fun. I feel like there's so much arguing, so much putting down. And I just don't see the point in it. I don't see the point of people investing their time into tearing down others. I just don't get it. I mean, if you don't like someone, and it's the same on here on YouTube. If you don't like someone, don't watch their videos. There is someone who literally clicks dislike on probably all of my videos all of my videos get at least one dislike why do you watch my video like or why do you even just have to click that like if you don't watch it why are you clicking that like if you don't like Erin Condren and that's fine but I do like the products I don't like the I don't like what the person did I don't know that person in real life you know I do believe in forgiveness I want to see changes from Erin Condren the company needs to do changes too, but they are. Let me just tell you that I feel like they are. Seeing two Spanish planners come out is a big step besides the other things that they're doing. Coming out with their numbers of how many people in their company um, are of certain ethnicities or races, um, that's a big deal to me because I did not see Happy Planner do that. And especially for them to admit Oh, we have no one of color in our, like, admin team or people that are above, like, the high above. That's a big thing to say. And for them to say, well, we need to make a change, to me, that's a change. But let me go back to the Spanish planners because you can say, okay, those things were changed very, like, at, at the moment, right? That's true. That is so true. It was changed at the moment. They're making changes right now. Um, but the Spanish planners, you cannot just make a planner overnight. Especially when everything needs to be translated and all that stuff. So I want people to understand and think about the fact that they are, they were making changes already. And I like that. So they have two, they have a teacher planner and an academic planner in Spanish. So I even looked it up because I was like, okay, let's see if this is actually like a really good step. And it really is. And the reason I did that, and I'm what I mean by that is I looked up how many Spanish teacher planners can you find? I think it's geared towards a teacher that not so, uh, it's, so it's, it's geared for a Spanish teacher that teaches Spanish a Spanish class like this language Spanish um and the academic planner I think is just in Spanish if that makes sense um so 
I looked up both of those things and I didn't see any other pl big planner companies have them. And then I also didn't see many other companies, period, who have them. I think there's like an Etsy shop that does it, but yeah. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind because there are a lot of people who speak Spanish and they should have, you know, access to planners as well. And I'm not saying that other languages shouldn't be available. They should. But I think that was a giant step for me. I was like, wow, that's amazing. So anyways, I'm going to get off this like rant of that. Um, my whole thing was basically to say that like, if you don't like something, please don't follow it. Don't watch it. Don't put the negative stuff out there. Like, just walk away. Like, I, I, I couldn't do the negativity anymore on Instagram, in the planner community. I just couldn't. It was so much every day. Um, I'm not saying that we shouldn't discuss things because we should. We should discuss things, right? That's how people learn. But I am not going to tear down another person. I'm just not. I, I, you can think what you think and that's fine. Um, and I'm going to think what I think, but we can have open discussions and disagree and just move on from there, if that makes sense. So, <sighs> I'm so sorry, you guys, if I went on a rant and this <laughs> went totally in a different direction. I sat down thinking when I did this voiceover that I had nothing to say and I ended up having something to say. So anyways, I still don't know what I'm going to use this planner for. Um, I will use it because goodness gracious, look at this spread. It's so pretty. Um, it's actually making me really want to get like more, more um, mini kits because... Sarah Liz with prints at 50% off. I think these are like four bucks or something like that. Four or five bucks. They're so, it's such a good price. Um, but anyways, that is going to be it for this week, you guys. Oh, by the way, that habit tracker that has the water, I end up using that as a regular habit tracker because it has enough days, enough drops. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.